Hey Sam. Okay, so I'm trying to respond to your request for rich media. Uh, you didn't want to jump into framing uh, the stuff I'm thinking about as a game and so on. Uh, fair enough. I'll step back into what I'm thinking about and try to convey that. Whew, okay, so I think it's basically pure metaphysics, um, or a geometrical form of metaphysics uh, embedded systems within systems and expanding or uh, changing system uh, to increase resolution. And so what I mean by that is that at uh, let's call it the first level, but um, let, let's start with triads, um, which were described by Forrest Landry as fundamental triplication, which I feel is a pretty good expression for uh, splitting up a domain, any domain, into three parts and three characteristic parts. Uh, this has um, a lot of similarities with Gurdjieff work, apart from it's just a singular instance of uh, three. So it's a special instance of a even more general metaphysics, which I guess Bennett called general systematics, now called qual systems by Anthony. But um, this would be taking the threeness or fundamental triplication in Landry's language and uh, the implications of how these are embedded in other systems, such as fourness, fiveness, and so on. Um, so for me, I'm thinking about, uh, well, I, I'm just playing around at the moment with triads, really, and trying to get a good sense of them, much like dyads, which I've previously played with. And, you know, as I build up a library of triads, and, triplication comes a lot easier to me and seeing the triples uh, I'll move on to fourness. Now since I'm building a library of these things in Obsidian, uh, a Lynch library, I have to ask myself how the fuck do I ground all this because uh, well metaphysics are supposed to have implications in the real world rather than remain purely abstract. Uh, but they are purely abstract descriptions that should have implications. So thinking about that, I can see how uh, a systematic or geometric metaphysics covers all the bases and all the possibilities, and that makes sense to me at a high level. And, you know, if we are going to construct this stuff, how are we going to construct it? Um, well, let's, let's cover all the possibility space and use the geometries to do that. Great, okay, so that's like one aspect of things. Again, still doesn't touch the ground. It's, uh, it's not real until it touches the ground, in my opinion. And so I've been trying to figure out how to get it to touch the ground since I'm, you know, doing it anyway. And so the next thing that comes is uh, the, yeah, like the big long-term meta vision kind of side of stuff, which would be semantic search. And it, like that would, in my opinion, be taking these metaphysical attractors and then applying them to the trivium, logic, grammar, and rhetoric to uh, actually understand the semantics behind a search term and if it's indexing in the same way then theoretically you should be able to return exactly one answer for a given query and it will be the right answer because we understood what was actually being asked and then matched it to what was actually available um, so that that's a potential long-term thing that I'm hesitant to get into as a 
big vision quest because I know how long it's going to bloody take and that, that's a good while off. It requires building all the libraries and then doing a lot of research, getting machine learning involved and, you know, um, yeah, that, that's not going to happen in the short term. I'm interested in doing it in the long term, but it doesn't touch the ground for me even as a idea of some sort. So how can I take what I'm doing now and turn it into something um, practical or, you know, manifest some artifacts? I thought that the card game might work quite well there as a vehicle um, in the sense that I can take these terms that I'm putting together, you know, send them or create some cards, I guess. Uh, and then construct some rules or co-construct some rules uh, and start playing the game. Again, it's a good way to practice um, as well as get others involved in the practice and you know, with that big long-term semantic search vision that's possibly, you know, it's a possibility rather than a probability in order to move it from one area to the other. And then you need to talk with people that use the same language and I know how long it's taken me to learn this stuff and I'm still learning it so that's going to be very hard to find um, and so a game seems like a good training ground in that way both for myself for funding to do you know, and so forth um, so that's why I suggested that although I'm actually I don't really care what I'm doing so long as I'm actually taking what I'm learning and creating some kind of artifact with it now rather than later or something that's just, you know, rotting in a silo um, because I'm not interested in wasting my time or doing things purely for myself. Uh, this is something I want to do for myself and so uh, creating something from that that is useful to others I think is uh, what needs to be done. Um, I guess I could go into all the metaphysics and stuff, but I would rather leave that for an evolving conversation. Um, because, yeah, it all just gets a bit abstract and I'm kind of not so interested in talking about all this stuff anymore. Uh, I'd rather just get on and do stuff. But you want to go to level five, I think this stuff is, you know, the theory side of it is all level five stuff in a way. Uh, in fact, maybe covers the whole of level five. I, I'm not sure entirely. So there we go. I hope this um, rich media response gives you what you're looking for. Uh, maybe turns into something that is generative for both of us. Um, this is just kind of me saying the direction I'm going in. And if others want to join, that's, that would be super cool. Uh, right, cool. I'll say goodbye.